like major nine jazz type of things. This is a cool phrase I, I can give you. I'm de starting se started to sequence that in fours recently, and the accuracy is not there yet, but I can feel it coming together every day, every week. It just kind of gets a little bit better, and there will come a point where that's just there, and then I won't have to maintain it any more difficultly, with, with any more work, let's say, than I would maintain anything else. So I like this if you're a jazz cat and you want to play like a line that's kind of a realistic use of picking technique. This is a, a major nine that you can use in your in this position where you've got your bar chord shape. Let's do it in G here. And if you put your uh, middle finger on the root down here, then you can get this shape. So here's your, your actual, your one chord or your chord. Your underlying harmony for this would be this. So you've got middle and then bar, and then um, ring, and then bar. This is a three finger chord, right? Very common. It's basically your G chord with a with a first with a second fret bar, kind of is one way to think about it. And then there's the fingering here that just flows right over. And here's the line. I'll just play it for you slowly, and you'll you can catch it from the camera. And I like this one because there's not really any pattern to it. It's just a bunch of notes. It just sounds good. missing a note in there somewhere. I think that was clean. And then you can try sequencing this also. I think that was also, also mostly clean. <laughs> what is that slowly? Also cool phrases you can um, you can practice a lot of these, almost any harmony that you can think of that's a seventh or a ninth can be arranged in a very similar fingering across the neck. I'll give you the minor seven, minor nine version of it here. So if this was your one chord here, the chord we were using, you go up a whole step, you got your two chord. Pretty cool, right? Fits right over minor seven, minor nine. And here's the, here are the notes slowly. I'll play them. You can catch them from the video again. It's the same exact arrangement of notes. You have one note on the low string, two on the next, one and two, and one and one, and then two again. Same here. One, two, one. I don't remember. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two. Right, so this is one of these alternating one, two, one, two kind of shapes. You do it up here. something. All right, there's your dominant seven version of it. Here's what that looks like. Cool, right? So a whole world of shapes opens up now and you can alternate pick this kind of stuff. Even if it's not like 100% accurate, if there's a like a chord progression happening and you're playing these kind of lines, you miss a couple of notes here and there, it still, it flows and it sounds cool. 